I'm Tracy Baxter in the Times-Herald Record Newsroom with this uh, Newswatch update. It's going to be a while before a couple of tight election races in our area get decided. One is the battle for Port Jervis City Court Judge, where James Hendry's ahead of Matthew Witherell by 11 votes. And uh, Democrat Alisa Tutini is leading uh, Republican Carl Brabenick by 10 votes in the 98th District State Assembly race. Democrat Orange County Elections Commissioner Sue Barron uh, says absentee ballots will be the deciding factor in both. If the 98th Assembly District, if either candidate brings an action, then we might have to uh, wait until uh, their watchers and lawyers can be assembled until we start to open everything. So that's, um, that's all kind of up in the air right now. But we have until the 21st of November to certify to the State Board of Elections, so we will be working hard to meet that deadline. But things will start moving along hopefully sometime next week. And Barron says all those incoming uh, absentee ballots get counted and recorded for every race. Roland Oslander of Cooks Falls and Wendy Kavanaugh of Roscoe are due in a town of Rockland Court later today following their arrest on grand larceny charges for allegedly withdrawing money from the bank account of Kavanaugh's dead mother just 30 minutes after she died. Betty Cox uh, died at her home in Roscoe September 30th. Oslander had previously served jail time for keeping the body of his deceased mother in a freezer for a year and a half while stealing about $18,000 worth of her social services benefits. In Pike County, PA, the search continues for the person who shot a dog in the head and left it to die along a road in Dingman Township on Halloween night. The dog named Bugsy, a hound and pit bull mix, was discovered under a parked car along the road. The dog is expected to survive following treatment at a veterinary center. A $1,000 reward is being offered for information leading to an arrest and conviction. Uh, The Pike County Humane Society says when an arrest is made, animal cruelty charges will be filed. And the Port Jervis Police Department and Citywide Neighborhood Watch is hosting a forum on hunger and homelessness tonight at 7 at Drew Methodist Church in Port. Uh, Neighborhood Watch President Deborah Kuhn says uh, they want to show everyone that there is hunger and homelessness in the community. With this Newswatch update, I'm Tracy Baxter.